if you want to start channels, if you want to put yourself out there, just do it. Life is too short. And if you enjoy what you're doing, do it. Hey guys, it's me. I'm sorry, I just want to quickly butt in. Don't see any weird shadows, especially on me. Please ignore it. I wanted to refilm this video, but then I just couldn't after, so please ignore that. This is like a completely unplanned video. I wanted to just sit down with the camera, and I didn't know what to film. Like, I want to film something. I want to talk about something, but I... I was debating what experience should I talk about. If at the present moment I'm going through something, I don't want to make a video about it because I don't want to jump the gun or what's the word? Like talk too much about something and then things kind of go in a different direction. I want to make sure like I'm sure of things before I decide to make a video on them. I kind of want to talk about a question that I get asked a lot. I don't know if people are being serious or it's like a rhetorical or I don't know if that's the word when people are just like, oh, how are you? Like, you know, they don't really want an answer. But the question that I get asked a lot is how are you so comfortable or confident to put yourself out there and share your opinions and, and do all that? And the answer is, I don't really know. <laughs> and I know that's probably not the answer you were looking for, but just let me explain. Ever since I was like a little girl, I've always liked to be involved in things in, in, in communities. I've always liked to help out. I've always liked to talk in front of people. Like I remember when I was younger, whenever I went to church and it was like Mother's Day or Father's Day, I would go up in front of like hundreds of people as a young child and I would read poems. Now it may not seem like anything, but a lot of kids would have stage fright and they wouldn't feel comfortable going up there, but I would read like a poem in my native language, not English. It was a nice environment. And then another thing that happened as well, I like to talk, I like to make announcements. I, when I was younger, I was on this radio show. I just like to talk in front of people. I like to just express myself. I was comfortable doing that. Like, of course I would get anxiety, but for the most part, I wasn't like hiding behind anybody. Like I was comfortable, right? And I realized from a young age, I had a lot to say. I was curious about a lot of things. I had things to share. I had opinions, all that. I really like to think. I really like to think as you guys can see. So that obviously transcribed, is that the word? Was transferred onto me now on YouTube. Now, before I came on YouTube, when I was in high school, I didn't give my opinions much. I was always that quiet person. Like I didn't apply to be the valedictorian, like the class president. Like I didn't have much of a voice in, in high school at all. But on YouTube, it was like my safe space, my happy place to do that. Now, how exactly am I confident being on YouTube? Because now you heard the backstory. Well, when I was younger, people that I looked up to a lot on YouTube or I enjoyed watching are the ones that were out there. They were energetic. They had their own opinions. They could make me laugh. I loved bold personalities. I actually looked up to them a lot and I'm like, wow, you know, I want to do the same thing. I want to express myself as well and enjoy what they were doing. But how people enjoyed what, enjoyed what they were doing as well gave me that inspiration. And also, I've always wanted to make a change in this world and a difference. So being myself i know like some people might wonder oh do you put on an act but ask anybody that i talk to personally this is me like i don't put on an act i'm not more shy in person i'm not scripted this is just the way i am you know of course like some things like maybe i might be more bold and with my hand gestures than usual just because you know to engage you guys but this is really how i talk and how i am and I just, I really enjoy doing this. Sometimes I struggle with this. I'm going to be honest with you guys. But you know what I say to myself? The people who want to judge are always the ones that hide behind the screens. They see you out there putting yourself out there, but they hide behind the screen. So why should you listen to them when they don't even want to try to do what you're doing? You see what I mean? Now everybody's entitled to their own opinions. Don't get me wrong. But if people are going to troll and hate and they're literally hiding behind screens, like don't even take that seriously. That's my message to you guys out there who put yourselves out there and get trolls or haters, which I'm not saying I do, but if you do, ignore it. Like I said, what you're doing takes courage, especially if you're going against the narrative, if you're going against mainstream, if you have your own opinions, you may become more of a target than, an, than a YouTuber who just goes on adventures. A target of YouTube, target of like being shut down or whatever, you know, but that's life. And you know, when you look at stories, biblical stories, and you look at things that happen, people have to take risks sometimes and, and trust in the Lord as well, because ultimately everything happens for a reason. And if I was destined to do this, I was destined to do this. If I wasn't, I wasn't. I don't know if I went all over the place here, if this makes any sense, but I guess my message to you guys is, if you want to start channels, if you want to put yourself out there, just do it. Life is too short. I and mean, I see like my fellow YouTubers that are smaller and I, you know, try to give encouragement because it's like, you know, I know it can be tough, especially as smaller channels. You feel like, oh, you're doing it for nothing. But no, if you enjoy what you're doing, do it. And let me say another thing that I, I, I didn't think of for a while, but now I did. Your future kid and future generations that are like your bloodline, they'll be like, hey, that, that, that's my mom, that's my dad, that's my uncle, that's my aunt, that's my grandma, my grandpa on YouTube. Like, that's them. Like, imagine seeing, like, your kids, what are they going to think? Like, wow, you know, like, oh, you know, that's what my relative did, you know? Like, imagine your parents had YouTube back then and you saw your parents on YouTube. I, I would watch my relatives' YouTube videos if they had them at that time. I would love to. Like, it would make me so happy, you know? I would love to see what they thought, you know, just amazing so don't forget that be proud of what you're doing be proud of what you're doing because you're doing something you enjoy and you don't know who you're inspiring maybe you're inspiring someone younger than you maybe you're inspiring change 
you know, when you really think about it, and, and like I said, I know that it's not millions of people watching me, but even if it's only like a thousand at a video, that's a thousand people, a thousand screens your face is on. It's so crazy for me to think about, even 200 people. Like it doesn't seem like anything in the in the grand scheme of things on YouTube, but it, it actually is a lot of people if there is 200 people, a thousand people. Well, like we don't even have 200 friends. And if you're embarrassed of family members seeing that, just think to yourself like what would make you embarrassed, you know? What are you doing wrong? Because I know on my channel that, yeah, maybe there are family members or friends that might not agree necessarily with what I'm saying, but I'm going to stand my ground because I know that my opinions, a lot of them are rooted in facts and truth. And not just that, but I'm not saying anything offensive. I don't swear on my channel. I'm, I'm very careful, you know, so be firm, be firm, because this is how it is, even in the Bible, like people who try to do good and all that, they still will get people who try to put them down and don't agree with them, but keep going, let your light shine through. That is all for now. Hopefully I covered everything. I'm still going to post on the channel, don't get me wrong, but I'm not exactly sure how I should continue, like what exactly I should make. Like, let me know down below. And also I have a second channel, like I said, Ala Shorts, where I post memes, like reacting to Reddit memes, like funny, more lighthearted co content. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. As always, God bless. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.